Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello and welcome to Business Today. Viewers, today we're going to talk about the fashion industry. And fashion is changing big time. Love it or loathe it, it's something you just can't ignore. Whether you're flicking through the channels on your TV, strolling down the high street or standing at a bus stop, you likely will be facing a constant visual bombardment of ads for the latest designer trends from brands that you may or may not have interest. And it's no surprise that all those brands are fighting for your attention. Fashion is very, very big business. And today I have a very inspiring person and she is somebody who is working very hard to actually make a difference in the industry within our community. And she is Fabiha Sultana. Welcome. Fabiha, you've been obviously working very hard um, and you're an emerging fashion designer. Okay. My first question to my viewers, would you please just introduce yourself a little bit? Yes, sure. Um, I'm Fabiha Sultana and I am a emerging fashion designer. Um, I recently just graduated with a master's. Um, in fashion and textiles design with a distinction grade and I am launching, so I've been launching my brand okay. which is Fabia Sultana and my collection Shunar Bangla um, re uh, throughout the couple of months that have been going past so yeah. So. Oh, wow. I was just going through some research uh, on the fashion industry. I mean clothing has always been big business for the UK itself. Uh, the world trade once accounted for 80% of the exports from the British Isles. Now the UK fashion industry is worth 26 billion pound. And there's about 800,000 jobs in the economy from this industry, you know, making it the UK's largest creative industry. And you, being a Bengali, we don't see many of that. Yeah. Right? Um, we're very proud of that, actually. What inspires you uh, with your designs and things like that? What is it that...? Um, the inspiration behind my collection um, actually comes from a lot of things that I see. Mm -hmm. So my everyday life, um, you know, when I'm travelling, um, going going to different places, I'll just look at something and I will take the inspiration from that and I'll create new ideas. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, it can be a lot of different things. So I don't think there's a specific thing for inspiration. I think, you know, when you walk past a specific building, you might take the inspiration of the shapes from that building. You might take I the colour palette. I understand, I know. I know that the fashion industry, people who are creative, they find beauty in ugly. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> if I can put it like that. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, y you can find any item or object or anything you see and you can actually create something from that. Is that how it works? Yes, it does. Yeah. So even with my collection, um, I took inspiration from wall art in Bangladesh. So I, you know, infuse that within the print designs that I do for my fashion collection. Okay, okay. Um, obviously, I'm going to ask you, you're a hijabi, okay, and you chose fashion as a design. I mean, why did you choose fashion? And this is so that I can f understand from you and my viewers can feel inspired and motivated in, uh, to go in and uh, get involved in this, into this industry or something. Um, what made you choose fashion? Well, since uh, um, as a young woman um, and a young child, I've always been into um, designing, drawing, anything artistic. So for me, I've always wanted to go into something that was you know, that I was very passionate about. Yeah. So I continued studying within that field. So f since a very young age, you know, I continued my journey as a designer. So I would love drawing, love painting, okay. all of that stuff. So for m I never used to wear a hijab, actually. So um, doing menswear. So when I was at university. OK, so you're doing menswear, yeah? Yeah, okay, I do yeah, menswear, yeah. yeah. That's something we need to um, My clarify. brand is based on menswear, but mm. I think Initially, when I was at university, so when I was in my first year of university, I actually focused on modest wear and women's wear. Um, and then I'd done that for two and a half years. And randomly, in my final year of university uh, for my undergrad bachelor's degree, I then thought, actually, why don't I translate all that into a menswear collection? Because 
there's a there's a niche market out there for menswear. Brands always focus on women's wear because it's a larger market. But okay. for me, I wanted to go into something that nobody has touched on. So that's why I went into doing menswear. And then I also studied and I done my dissertation about modesty. So that's when I pursued wearing the hijab. Okay. Um, because I researched more in depth about what is um, hijab. And then I actually went, I know some people will say, oh, how come you're a hijabi and you do menswear? But for me, I think that's a challenge that I want to actually show that, you know, I'm just I'm sort of breaking mm -hmm. some barriers, you know, but I'm not going against my religious values because it's a business idea, it's a business model. And as a Muslim woman, I want to stand and empower other, you know, Muslim women as well. Fantastic. Now, without um, any delay, I want to show my viewers the video clip. Okay. okay so yeah. uh, there is a short video clip, viewers. Just stay tuned and watch this, and I'll see you after the clip. Shanar Bangla by Fabia Sultana Adopting Cultural Fusion Fabia Sultana focuses and challenges culture, lifestyles and celebrates the differences for a contemporary luxury menswear brand. The brand's vision and conceptual ideas are aimed to paint and visually express key elements from British and Bangladeshi culture. By merging them together, creating something more innovative and contemporary. Via Sultana is a print-driven brand which focuses on expressing personal experiences through fashion. The brand will derive its main sources of inspiration from the deeply rooted cultures of Britain and Bangladesh, translated through a multiple of mediums, photography, art and textiles methods. Showcasing the differences and similarities of British and Bangladeshi life, the brand focuses on creating high quality fabrics using various textiles techniques such as screen printing, puff binding, digital printing and embroidery. Shonal Bangla by Fabia Sultana is for those who appreciate different cultures and lifestyles. Back viewers, and that was actually quite amazing. I've um, seen there's a lot of um, Bengali writing incorporated in your artwork. You've involved uh, our culture, and obviously we're going to get to that. I'm going to yeah. ask you about that. But one thing I need to ask you, and for the sake of my viewers, I want them to understand. You know, how is your family supporting you? You do menswear. You're into fashion. It's different. You know, we don't every day see. Um, our women going into the fashion industry or the creative yeah. industry mainly really how's your family supporting you um, so I'm actually very lucky because my family support me with this whole um, um, career choice okay. so my mother has always supported me with you know designing and you know all of that because she really is for women empowerment and supporting and sort of you know being an independent woman so she's always said do whatever you like you know but do you know do your best within whatever career path you go towards um, and with my father he's actually very well known in the Bangladeshi community Dr. M. Jimola Mia um, I think he is one of my biggest inspirations as well um, because he's with his hard work he's also been recognized um, even in Bangladesh um, so he's been awarded um, the CIP of Bangladesh as well mm -hmm. for um, you know his movement within the business industry in Bangladesh 
So um, I can see that business link with you and him there because you, you've done your research, you found a niche, you know, there's that business yeah, side to you as yeah. well. Yeah, I think, um, you know, he's he sort of inspired me and motivated me to go towards that platform and you know he's always shown me that you know if you're involved within business you can excel and you know bringing that together with my passion which is fashion I really see a potential. Excellent, excellent. This is what we want to see um, every parent supporting the children in their career uh, whether parents like it. I mean, what we find in our culture and traditions, be a doctor, be a solicitor, be, you know, but sometimes not everybody enjoys that, you know. I, I understand you enjoy fashion, yeah. you like the creative yes. industry, and you've gone into that route. And there's a good chance you're going to be successful because you enjoy it. That's very important. Now, I know your journey might have been quite difficult as a start, you know, to start off with, um, but where do you actually get the support from, you know? The support, um, well, I, I actually get most of my support from my family. Um, so when I was uh, just finishing off my graduation and finishing off my doing my master's, um, my father actually um, supported me to create a studio space um, so that I can actually, you know, start my brand, start designing in my own sort of environment. So he supported me in that. Um, I would say I got support from my siblings as well, I, you know, my, my whole family, extended family, my uncles, aunties, everyone, um, and my lecturers from university, um, my colleagues, you know, I've got a whole group of um, people that are in my design team, um, so they all support me. My models, without them, I wouldn't be able to have a fashion show, so I would say I've got support from a lot of people, friends as well. So yeah. I mean, you've, I'm lucky. You, you, you've been on to doing your masters and completed that. You know, I mean, within your group, did you, in your university, did you actually find many Bengali people with you? No. So um, when I was at sixth form and I was studying textiles, I was the only Bengali um, female that was um, studying um, textiles and fashion. Um, so people would just think, oh, especially like from the Asian background, people would be like, are you sure you want to do this subject? But, you know, I stuck by with what I wanted to do. Even when I went to university, I didn't have many um, Asian people, forget Bangladeshi, but there was not many Asian people that were studying, um, you know, fashion. Um, there was a lot of Chinese people, because, mm -hmm. you know, in China, fashion is very it's, prominent. It's very popular, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I haven't. There was like one or two um, Asian people that were within my um, class classrooms and class um, classes, but not Bangladeshi okay. people. Now, I want to know who your favourite artists are, all right? and what inspiration do you take from them? That's quite important because that's where you, you, you've been gone, haven't you? Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Who's your favourite artist and so what have for, you taken on board for, from them? Yeah, um, so for... Um, my journey and you know I, as an emerging designer mm. I start by creating my designs as in painting I love painting so I do a lot of abstract painting and that's the kind of style that I've always been into um, so my favorite artist will be Robert Rosenberg he's been throughout all my university research that I've done for the five years of university okay. um, he's been my biggest inspiration his work is incredible and um, it's very collage based he uses different mediums he uses um, acrylics um, he uses um, continuous line drawing so I take that inspiration from him oh, wow. and I mean with through your art and now we've got some beautiful stuff in the studio I don't know if my viewers can see but I can see you know there's information there what are you, what are you actually trying to portray from that you know from your designs what are you trying to portray I'm trying to sort of portray um, culture so what I try to do is I try to merge um, Bangladeshi culture with the British culture because uh, Bangladesh is actually as uh, I'm not sure if you know but Bangladesh is one of the leading textiles in oh, yes, country. Yeah. yeah so uh, the whole purpose behind this whole collection is to sort of combine my cultures so British culture because I was born in 
you know, Britain, and then my, my motherland, which is my roots. So I try to combine them together to showcase the streets of both the countries, you know, and I combine them through the medium of different, you know, art um, forms. Okay. Um, I mean, I've seen uh, some of your other work, and you've, you've had a lot of underground stuff. Um, yes. Uh, what was that about? Oh, so um, I actually, for one of my collections, I focus on the London Underground. I'm going to come back to you. Sorry about that. We just yeah. need to go to a break. Yeah, um, sure. And we're going to come back and talk about the underground artwork, uh, the, the stuff you made. It's all awesome. I've seen it in a fashion show. Viewers, stay tuned, and we're going to be right back after the break. So stay tuned. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> 